bring it down right here. All right, Hodges Outdoors. So right now he's going to take the shank. We refer to the shank. He's going to work around the knuckle. Um, mm -hmm. That was the first first muscle mass that we'll yep. eventually get into. And then he'll work around the femur bone and get those muscles. Yeah, get the sinew cut in here. Yep. And that comes right out there. A lot of people find that difficult, but once you get to that joint right there, it opens right up. And this here is what they call uh, uh, top of the round off of this area in here if you're breaking it up for steaks and things like that. Then most of this down in here will become uh, your stew meat and such like that. Now we got the shank off of here. And this shank meat is really, really tender meat. You take and uh, put that in an Instapot and it breaks down after you bone it bone it out and all that connective tissue that white uh, stuff will uh, cook right down to nothing and what you get is a real tender piece of meat uh, you can put that in uh, like noodles and uh, we cut that up into little chunks and it makes a really good meal same thing with the neck as well I see my helpers over there in the cooler he's looking at the the other parts of the deer. Are you? Are you? My, are you my helper there? Are you? Yeah. That a boy. What are you trying to get into, huh? Yeah. He's going to be a hunter someday. Uh, why they call it the H bone hit beyond me, but that's what they call it. I used to cut meat for a living, so kind of know a little bit about boning this out. This has got a connection sock right in here as well and you got to break that connection so what you got to do and you follow the bone along here is what you do and it takes a pretty sharp knife to get it done try to save all that meat we can because we're going to grind the majority of the deer into deer burger and right here is that joint I was telling you about right there and uh, cut that little piece right there and you can as you can see it's starting to come come apart I follow that contour around just like that look at that and that something I get a lot of extra meat out of that There it is. Take that out of there. That's pretty that's pretty clean right there. We'll take a little bit out right in there to finish that up. You take this portion of it out, it's right in the joint. Take that out and uh, get rid of it. Try to get all that white fat out of the deer. Uh, just makes for a better tasting deer. That's what it does. Just like that. So we're working on the top round around the femur. Yeah. Down towards the shank. And you get back underneath the bone there like that. Come around the other knob there. And turn it around so you can get to the other side. Just like this. I've done a couple couple of these deer in my lifetime. Probably uh, I'd hate to see how many deer I boned out. Get everything it can out of that boat. Come right like that. Pretty clean looking piece of bone there. A little bit of meat right there. We'll take that off. And that will go into the grindings. 
Just like that. All right, Hodges Outdoors, you see the first. We uh, broke down that hind for you. Got that femur bone out there, it's shank. And uh, we're going to bone the next one out and uh, get the rest out and probably do some, what are you doing, burger and jerky maybe? Ollie, all this? Or do you just you want, want to do jerky? burger? Oh, we'll see. So, see you soon, Hodges. Guys, we're at the family tradition trying to clean up this deer. So we uh, got the whole family here. Should teach you how to break down a hind, front shoulder, loins. So uh, you know what to do when you harvest an animal like this. So, um, so far we've grandpa's broken down the hind, I'm broken down the front shoulder, and broken down the front shoulder, and we got mom breaking down a loin from chop. So hopefully you like this content. Wait until we see the next one. So we'll cook some of this up on camera and uh, go from there. So we'll see you soon. Hodges out.